put some uh, refrigerant in. I'm gonna go cut, straddle the ditch over here in the east field. We're gonna hook to this vine and get the baler hooked up and grease. So we'll be ready to go. Okay, ready to go. Here we go, sit down. Cut this trip right down the middle of the waterway. Now we're heading back. And get the cis bind unhooked. Get the round baler hooked up to this thing and grease it. And that'll be ready to go. Then we'll just be waiting on uh, stuff to dry out a little bit so we can start raking. bailing some today guys. Pretty exciting. First bailing of the year. I'm gonna make sure to stop here. Put that there. Pull that. Back in this hole down here. Chain out of the way. Pin back in. And she's locked. Now we'll let her down and we can unhook the hydraulics. Take our high-tech hose retaining system off here. Pulled the pin, jacking it up. I told Kate to stand back. Ran all the way back there. That's a good boy. Way to be safe. All right. Do the bailer we go. Looks like it's getting ready to take off flying, don't it? All right, we backed up here. Turn the tractor off here. We're going to swap the PTO shaft and grease the baler, and then we'll hook up. And we'll be ready to start raking, I guess. All right, scratch that. I just checked the hay. It's getting dry on top. So we need to rake it before it gets any drier so we don't lose too many leaves. So we're gonna grab the rake. Once we get done raking, we'll get the baler ready. It, it can be dry in there in the meantime. Come on, Kay, let's go. Off we go. All right, guys. Me and Cade are gonna get on the Deutz 6150, pulling the 310. Gale rake, and we're gonna go ahead and rake the alfalfa right now. We might go ahead and rake the rest too, I don't know. Uh, but while he's on there, I'm probably not gonna get a whole lot of food for you guys because I wanna concentrate on keeping an eye on him and uh, obviously making sure he doesn't fall off or anything crazy like that. So, uh, as long as he's on here, the, the footage is gonna be pretty limited. Uh, I'm sure you guys hopefully understand. And I want him to want to spend time with me. And whenever he does want to spend time, then we're going to do it. So, ready to roll, Cade? Oh, yeah, he's ready. Pickle, tell me what you're doing here. What do you got? Pickle. What do you, what do you got here? Hey. What are you doing with it? Where'd you get it from? From That was the most wearing five acres I've ever raked in my entire life. <sighs> that wheat is so stemmy. That's the most difficult raking I've ever done with this rake. This rake does really good, better than my dad's wheel rake, as far as balling up, making a nice windrow, and 
I mean, it wasn't constant, but it did it way more in this five acres than it has for every single other acre I've ever covered combined. So, then the other thing is, I got a leak here at this coupler. I tried resealing it. I'm just gonna have to buy new couplers for the tractor on the tractor and the females. And uh, <clears throat> it leaked enough that it won't even hardly pick it up now. And I added oil to it and it didn't make any difference. So I'm gonna, I found another port here on the back. I wish I had uh, a book for this thing is what I wish I had. All right, we're gonna grease the baler, get it ready. And then I'll probably get a quick bite to eat. All right, I'm coming out here to check out the alfalfa. Uh, I'm sure the wheat could bail. I'm just trying to decide if I ought to try to bail this alfalfa first. I'm going to do my square bailing first and then do my round bailing. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to bail. Like, any time now. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm not going to hook the round baler up then. I'm going to hook the square baler up. Because... I have to get this stuff bailed in its prime. And it, the wheat, it's not high quality hay anyways. I'm round baling it, so if it's a little over dry, it is what it is. I pull the tractor over here, put the square baler on it. Five forty PTO shaft. You know. This isn't really that big of a deal, but it is kind of a pain. Uh, five minutes here and five minutes there adds up, I guess. But I uh, don't have much of a choice right now. All right, that's done. Didn't take long. Never does. But like I said it is a pain. So maybe, maybe we'll do something about that here one day. Time will tell. We're all hooked up. Pull this wheat stuff out of here. All hooked up, ready to roll. I gotta get the rope up there. And uh, I don't have the acid, I'm bailing. I don't wanna wait any longer on the alfalfa to dry. So I get done with the alfalfa and that other field's not quite ready. I may go and get it or I may send somebody to go get it for me or something. But as of right now, I'm not taking the time to go get it because I need to be bailing, so. It won't take long to bail this fill, assuming nothing goes wrong. Um, you caught a glimpse there of the applicator. Um, may not even get to use it this time around. We will get to use it though, I'm sure, certain of it. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the pickup, get the rope up in the cab with me. We're gonna head over to the field. First start of the year for the baler. check the pressure and the counter and all that good stuff. All right, we got zero on our pressure, which is what we want. All right, I went ahead and put some pressure on it. Set it to nine. Is that a nine? Yeah. Okay, nine's across the board. And then run this up. And that should, you know, that trips, that'll go to zero and we'll start from fresh. All right, we're also gonna start off at some of this grass just to fill the baler before we get into the better alfalfa. That way I don't have a chunky, really loose bale of alfalfa. First bail is always kind of loose anyway, so here we go guys. We got three bales on the ground, one right here getting ready to come out, one another one already tied. That's one, two, three, four, five. We got four on the counter, so that excluded the very first one, which I'm sure is super loose. And let's try. Woo! She's pretty tight. And none too dry actually. Not a super bad thing. All right, I'm gonna take a few measurements here, check the hay, and uh, get back to bailing. It just seems just a little bit on the tough side. I'm gonna go over here. Okay. 
I don't think he made it. Oh well. But man, this stuff's dry. I don't. Whew, that snake kind of stinks. Been out here wrapping it in the sun. This stuff's dry. Okay. We're gonna punch a few more out. The pressure is actually at right about 250. It's probably about right where we want it. Bail length is right around 38 inches, which is actually probably just about perfect for the stacker. We're gonna bail the closest ones on the ends. Uh, I'm gonna leave the outside windrow to round bail by the woods. Up there by the yard, it's really good alfalfa, so we're gonna square bail it. Bales are somewhat consistently shorter uh, than one I just checked. Let's get the tape measure here. Okay. And we're about 34 inches. Need to be at least 36. I don't like that. I may have to adjust that a little bit, guys. I know this is a little bit thinner here, but we'll see. Definitely need to make sure we put it back on edge since we're picking up with a stacker. All right, I'm gonna lengthen it just a touch. And I may tension it just a touch as well. Tension it on this. This is a hydrochromatics. Got a cylinder here on the tension on the bail chamber. It's got to be running. This is a pump right here. This is your adjustment. Here's your gauge. We're slightly under 250. So we're going to turn this. See it creep up a little bit. It won't take much. I'm going to get it right off 250 if I can. All right. We're going to try that. Now I'm going to get a wrench to adjust this. Adjust the length. We loosen this set screw, move this up and down to adjust the length. If we want longer, we're going to move this up. If we want shorter, we're going to move it down. Okay, I'm going to move it just a little bit. It don't take a whole lot to make much of a difference. Let's try it. So now drop one, two. The third bail, well, really the fourth bail is going to be the fourth bail on the ground after this gonna be the one that's gonna be the new length and you can't just check one you got to take like an average that's why I mean if I had just one that was short I wouldn't have adjusted it but every single one of these right back here is too short so all right let's roll this is what takes so long square bail and once you get set and you're going and the conditions haven't changed it goes pretty quick really okay. right around 36 inches and that's in some thinner stuff, so that's probably pretty good. I am going to tension it, though. Go up to 260. Maybe, let's do 265. All right, here we go. Now we're getting in some hay. Super thick, but not too bad. Some good looking hay, too. Right now, we are running 4.1 miles an hour. Not in super heavy. All right, we're going to check this one right here. Uh, I cranked it up to about like 280, 280 to 300, somewhere around in there. And I was running about five, five, a little over five miles an hour in this windrow here. Pretty good weight. I'm gonna take a measurement. The bells weren't bad, but I realized I still had these backed out from over the winter, so I ran them in. Now we're gonna go back down here to about 260 or so. I like to run these in a little bit and then run a little bit more pressure here. I feel like it makes a little bit more nicer bail. Trucking right along here, guys.
conditioning is very nice. I am going to square battle some of that over there. I still have to, whenever I get done battling this, I'll go check that and we'll see what it looks like. If it's dry enough, I'll go ahead and start square battling over there. We're getting there. Not a whole lot of bales out here. Nothing like first cutting last year was. But, that Timothy died off last year, so I didn't have any Timothy in it like it last year. So, we're up a notch. Alright guys, two little shorty short wind rows left. Square bailing. The square bailing part of this field here is done. I'm going to pull up here and park. Take the truck over to the east field and see what that hay is looking like. If it's even close to bailing or not. Oh my gosh, that alfalfa. It's just gorgeous. It smells wonderful. Look, look at this stuff right here, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'll throw that in there. Maybe we'll catch a little bit of it at least. Moment we've all been waiting for. We got 155 bales on the counter. So since I'm a you know big time producer now, BTP, uh, I want to start referencing that as that's two loads out there since I'm using a stacker that hauls 70 bales at a time, and uh, two bales and a little bit, or two bales. Two loads in a little bit, two bundles in a little bit, two stacks in a little bit, whatever you want to call it. The east field's looking pretty good. It does have a few clumps here and there that are a little bit green. Um, I forgot and left the plug out of this tank, so hopefully I didn't get too much debris in there. All right, guys, we're at 155, getting ready to turn 156. And you're never gonna believe I forgot to put more twine in. I was gonna change the color. Uh, well, I just not so sure about using the whole color just for some pick and choosing spots here. So I don't know. We'll end up. We'll see how many we end up with. I'll keep an eye on the twine. I may have to come back up here and get some. First complete one for this field. There she is. Go a little bit more here. We'll get out and check. And see how much it's different than the alfalfa was. We're on square bailing right now. It's just a little bit tough. If I had my acid, I'd be putting some acid on right now, but I don't have it. So, uh, if my wife wasn't sick, I'd have her go get it for me while I start round bailing. But she is sick, so I'm gonna go get it and try to get my square bailing done first. And if it's getting, getting a little bit tough, I don't mind my round bales being just a little bit tough, especially if we're feeding them to the cows. It's not a huge deal. Ugh. Trying to take video and actually operate is a pain in the butt. Just so you guys know, hopefully you appreciate it. All right, so we're going back to the house, get the truck, we're gonna run to the dealer and Get some preserve, also known as acid. Guys, we are headed to the dealership. We're gonna get some of that acid. Dad is about ready to leave his house with the stacker and bring it over. So we'll be trying it this evening. And hopefully I can get back. I blew a fuse on my applicator system. I went ahead and turned it on. We're gonna pump some of that water out. And the fuse blew. I don't know if it maybe it blew before the hand. Because I don't know, I had it unplugged, so it's possible that it could have shorted out on something before I ever even plugged it in. The controller I made from my applicator system, 
I don't know, maybe it's just a cheapie or something, but as soon as I put as soon as I hook it up, it blows the fuse. So <clears throat> we're not square bailing, I guess, it's just round bail all of it, which is what I was originally planning to do, but it's awfully good stuff. Anyways, dad's getting ready to start bailing right now. I'm gonna unhook the right from the little tractor, hook up the stacker, and we're gonna do some testing on it, see if it works. We'll watch dad get started here. Oh man, that tractor sounds pretty good. I don't get to hear it from outside the cab very often. bit dusty but be all right Woo. falling up a little bit under that low draw bar and three-point hitch well this stuff here is definitely dry I say that Stuff right on the ground isn't super dry. It's right enough around bell though. Got the air working, so he's enjoying himself. Oh, here comes Cade. Hi, Cade. Here he comes. You'll get to ride the tractor, okay? He's missing riding with Papa, but Papa don't want a boy that's had strep throat riding with him, okay? Come over here. Don't worry, he'll get to ride. Crossing the ditch down here on the neighbor. Uh, okay, uh, we're gonna hook up the stacker, Cade. See if we can get it to work. Fingers crossed, boy. I don't know that we're gonna get all this bailed today, actually. It's already 6.30. That preservative thing is really irking me right now. I'm gonna have to get another switch in the morning. I just got me a makeshift thing to have the, the control mounted to, and we'll kind of play with this and see exactly where I like it, and then we'll build something from there. But uh, I know the first few loads are probably gonna be a pain in the bottom because of how long it's been sitting. It'll take a little bit to get this all slicked up. But we'll see how it goes. All right, Kate, let's go guys maiden voyage i guess i'm doing okay so far it seems like i might have a bearing going out here somewhere it's kind of making some squawking that sounds like speed it up a little bit but it's loading i'm doing okay with it it's kind of slow with with me trying to hold cade while i'm doing it with this makeshift thing up here and uh if you pop, let out the clutch too fast you pop a wheelie because of all the weight on the drawbar of this tractor definitely not built for it <clears throat> it's a good looking hay though I did not do an actual auto tie stack. I put a piece of cattle panel right in here. We're gonna try that, see how it does. Hopefully it does okay. So here we go, first time ever dumping. Easy now, killer. Uh-oh. All right, let's get off and look. I don't want to get too greedy here. I don't know if she's going to stand. It ain't looking too promising. Bells don't look bad, though, really. They definitely need to be longer, for sure. Especially to start out with. This one right here kind of concerns me. And I think a pallet would help. So, we'll see what happens here. Need to tilt it down just a little bit more. See if we can't get off there. Okay, it wasn't a complete failure. I think I was trying to push forward or push, do the push off feet 
and pull forward at the same time try to keep from kicking this bottom end out too much and I think I just got ahead of the push off feet and it actually hung up in here somewhere and pulled that bottom one out whenever it did that that entire thing fell but uh for not really having the right size bales and everything it went pretty good really all right guys it was a somewhat productive day we had a good first run with the stacker wagon the squeeze kind of failed me didn't really fail me i just was trying to pick up three and four layers and it just won't quite cut it it'll pick up two um the other problem is seeing how the skid steer you can't just can't see where you need to be able to see from the skid steer with the squeeze i think it'd actually be better with a tractor so <clears throat> we'll see what we can do there um we ended up getting about 30 round bales um and 155 square bales so not terrible not great i was really wanting a square bale that east field it was just a little bit too wet when i hooked up my preservative controller it blow, blew the fuse as soon as you hook it up it blew the fuse i think the controller inside the controller something's bad something shorted out pick up a switch tomorrow i'll be able to run it tomorrow if i need to i'm going to take the baler over to dad's uh, i'm going to bail with his baler see how it does and then have my baler there um, I'm also gonna take the stacker over there, take my tractor over there, take the skid steer over there. Still gotta get these square bales picked up. Uh, got a lot of stuff to do. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but when you're by yourself and you gotta travel 30 miles, it's pretty difficult. So anyways, that's it for today. Uh, some positives and negatives. Uh, this is just kind of how the beginning of season starts out. Hopefully it's uphill from here, I guess downhill, however you want to look at it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, thank you for watching, guys. God bless you. God bless America. Franklin County Forge out.